Are you looking for the best knife for slicing brisket in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best knife for slicing brisket, that are available on the market. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Tuo 10-inch Black Hawk S Chef Knife. This is a great knife, and in many ways identical to TUO's other offering here. It's a high-quality knife made from an excellent high-carbon stainless steel that holds a great edge. The handle, rather than being made of packawood, is a more elegant, less showy, but far more durable G10 fiber glass. The blade has a very nice wave pattern on it, and is overall beautiful while being highly effective, with a granton edge for easy slicing and a comfortable length. However, in terms of performance you're getting pretty much the exact same knife as the Fiery series, plus a much better handle for long-term durability, to be fair, at a significantly higher price, which is likely due to the etching. This is still a great knife. Moving on at number 4. We have the Victorinox 12-inch Swiss Army Cutlery Fibrix Pro Slicing Knife. This may not be as pretty as the other similarly priced knives on this list, but it gets the job done just as well from Victorinox. Everything about this knife is function over form. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it means it compares poorly to knives which, in my opinion, marry the two better. The knives we've already covered are highly functional knives which also look good as display pieces and feel good in the hand. This knife is more of a standard restaurant knife. It feels secure, but not overly comfortable, and is designed to be very easy to hold even in moist or slippery conditions. The Granton Edge is great for cutting sticky or moist foods as well as meats, and the overall quality of the blade is great. It holds an edge well and is made of high-quality European steel, with a hefty 12 inches length. About the only complaint I have in terms of function is its rounded tip, which I've already mentioned is not my favorite design choice on these kinds of knives. Everything else holds up extremely well, especially given it shares a similar mid-range price to all but the Dalstrong knife above. The lack of a high carbon steel is also worrisome in a general sense. However, in instances where you're done smoking a brisket and need a knife for the strict purpose of cutting the smoked meat, then the blade will be useful. At number 3, we have the Black Plus Decker 9-inch Electric Carving Knife. This little electric knife may not look like much, but it packs a surprising punch. I was never really a fan of electric carving knives in concept before I got this one a while back. I found them on the whole overpriced and unnecessary when a manual knife could often do a lot better, especially when it comes to bones and gristle. I still stand by that last part. No reasonably priced electric knife I've ever looked at has been able to appreciably cut bones or joints in my experience. Still, even with that flaw, it can't be denied how much easier it is to cut something that doesn't have anything like that in it, and especially if you're cooking a dry, brisket that holds its shape a lot better than a much more tender option, this thing is a huge time saver. It can cut easy, uniform chunks out of anything like a brisket or ham, though you still need to be careful of the ham bone in the latter, and make serving beautiful slices a snap. A far cry from the embarrassingly sloppy hunks I tend to cut out of a lot of larger foods. It's also quite cheap, and remains exceptionally easy to use, so makes the perfect addition to your kitchen if you already have a good set of manual knives for other purposes. At number 2, we have the Tuo Fiery Phoenix Hollow Ground 12-inch Slicer. The beautiful, packawood handle of this long knife pairs well with its granton edged blade, providing easy, beautiful slicing with a minimum of fuss. If you're cutting a large hunk of meat, this knife will provide everything you need and then some, and holds an exceptionally keen edge for cutting through even the toughest food. It's a solid foot long at the blade, and has a very nice and comfortable packawood handle. The indentations on the blade help prevent it from sticking, and it's got a nice sharp tip to help transfer meat to a plate, though that may be hard with a some types of brisket, which can completely fall apart if cooked long enough. The blade itself is quite good German steel, high carbon which takes and holds a wickedly sharp edge, 15 degrees by default, and is perfect for slicing. 
However, it can require a lot of maintenance to keep a blade sharp long term which you may need to invest in an electric knife sharpener. While it lacks a lot of the little extra touches that make the Dalstrong Black Series knives so good, it also comes in at half the price, making an exceptional high quality but budget friendly knife for many purposes. And finally at number 1. We have the Dalstrong Shadow Black Series 9 inch slicing knife. I really like this knife, not just for brisket, but for a wide variety of slicing purposes. It focuses on aesthetics a little too much for my taste, but its minor flaws don't really detract from how high quality of a knife this is. The handle at first looks like it would be uncomfortable, but it actually feels quite nice in the hand, with a great texture that is moisture wicking and non-slip. The G10 fiber resin material is also heat, cold, and moisture resistant for long-term durability. The blade is of similarly high quality, full tang with a 58 plus Rockwell hardness rating born from its high carbon, super steel, construction which is further hardened with a nitrogen bath that increases both hardness and flexibility, averting the general rule that increased hardness adds to brittleness. The final component is a titanium nitride coating that increases its corrosion resistance and overall durability. That in itself is good, but the minor flaw here is that it's black, which makes it a bit more difficult to clean and see things stuck to it, while making it much more noticeable if it gets scratched or nicked. But that's really a minor gripe compared to all the other benefits of this knife. It's even got a good price, nothing out of the ordinary for a high-end knife, and a lifetime warranty against defects, making it a very safe buy. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.